Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. My name is LFX. Now today guys, I'm going to be talking about something very important. I actually noticed a few weeks ago and I wanted to make a video on it, but I didn't really have enough information together to make a video about it. And I finally decided to make a video on it today as it was really interesting to me. So if you are interested in the lore of Borderlands and like the story of Borderlands, this will be a really good video for you to watch and it's actually really really interesting. So you already know that there's two playable sirens in Borderlands. There's Lilith in the first game and Maya in the second game, with none being in the pre-sequel because they just had to ruin it. There's Lilith and Maya, Lilith obviously being in the first game and Maya being in the second game. Maya being my favourite out of the two since Phase Lock is just amazing. I'm actually playing as Maya at the moment. I'm doing a little playthrough as her. Not on my YouTube channel, but it's just in general. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying her as well. But on with the topic. So there is two playable sirens in the game, but there's more than two sirens. So I am just quickly going to read out what a siren actually is, if you didn't realise. Uh, it's just off the Borderlands wiki. I'll leave a link in the description for the full details on it. I'm just going to read out the basic knowledge of what an actual siren is, so just listen up, kiddies. So, there are reportedly six sirens in existence at the time of the events in Borderlands take place. The player character Lilith is one of them, and part of the reason that she's on port Pandora involves searching for another, whom she believes to be on the planet. The siren she is seeking is preferably is the siren she is seeking is probably Commandant Steel, due to Steel being the only known siren besides Lilith during the story story of Borderlands One. A third siren appears to be in the Borderlands series as Angel from Borderlands Two, an enigmatic character who was confirmed as a siren in Borderlands Two. The full extent of Angel's abilities are unknown. However, she makes references to them performing a phase shift when hacking technology. In Borderlands 2, one of the player characters, Siren, named Maya. My favourite Siren. The tattoos are a side effect of being a Siren. The tattoo... The tattoo to tattoos, the tattoos of all known suspected sirens, however, only appear on one half of the body. Seemingly, they channel their powers through the arm that possesses the tattoos, which is often seen when Maya uses her power, phase lock. The tattoos appear to cover them from foot to scalp, as seen in the special edition customization skin for Maya. If you've actually played any of the Borderlands games, you will notice that there is at least one siren in Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. So we're, first we're going to start with Borderlands 1 as it is the first game in the franchise. If you've actually played all the way through to Borderlands 1, like the whole story, you will notice that there is a siren called Commandant Steel, I think her name is. And I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that properly, I think that's her name, Commandant Steel. And she was a leader of the Crimson Lance in Borderlands 1, and she actually was against the Vault Hunters in the game, and she opened the first vault and actually got herself killed. Now, if you don't know, six sirens can exist in Pandora at one time. So when she dies, another one will be born somewhere else in the universe. Now, in, this, in Borderlands 2, the siren that is known is Angel, or Guardian Angel, however you want to call her. And sadly, she also dies. So the non-playable characters of Sirens both die, and it's really sad actually because I wanted to see more of Angel, as she was such a good character to the franchise, and it was really sad to see her die off when I first played through the game. So as I said before, there's only six sirens allowed in the universe, but we only know of four, and Handsome Jack only knows of three. Now, I'm assuming that he knows of Maya, Lilith, and Angel, as Angel is his daughter and he is after Lilith, and Maya is new to the whole series, so he'll probably know of her because of that. Now, I can actually confirm that Jack only knows it by this echo recording. But, even though there is only four known sirens in the Borderlands games, 
there was actually a comic of Borderlands which did actually depict a fifth siren called Asher. So, we don't actually know much about Asha apart from that she was in the comics, but if you don't read the comics like me, there is little to actually know about this siren, and the comics don't actually say much about her anyway. So, we don't actually know if the sirens can only go to Pandora, or whether they're just linked with Pandora mostly. As Maya actually says in one of her echo logs, she goes to Pandora, flees from where she stays originally, to go to Pandora to see what's up with the vault. I don't know why, to be honest, but I'm assuming it's because there's there's already two sirens there. There's Angel and there's Lilith, and there was Commandant Steel, but she unfortunately got killed at the end of the first game. So, where's the sixth siren then? A lot of people are wondering this, as Borderlands 2 has been out for some time now, and Borderlands 3 might be coming out next year. As I, you saw in my video yesterday that I uploaded, there was the tech demo for the Borderlands 3 or the Unreal 4 engine. Very big open quotes there. So maybe there's a siren in Borderlands 3. Mind you, Borderlands 2 came out before the pre-sequel and they didn't actually hint or even release anything to do with a siren being in the pre-sequel. I think the reason because of this is the vault wasn't yet opened when the pre-sequel was actually based, so there would be no sirens in the area. Maya was not even a known siren at the time, so back in the day in Borderlands the pre-sequel, well, Jack would have only known as one siren, Lilith, which he only recently met. So at the very beginning of the game, Jack didn't know of any sirens at all. He met Lilith, and he was actually fine with her. I'm guessing he didn't know what sirens were, but if he did, he was just chill with it. You know, he's a, he's a cool dude in the pre-sequel, so I get where he's coming from. So after the second game, he knows of three sirens, and he dies, so he will not get to know of Commandant Steel, unfortunately. So it's a really weird thing that is observed by Dr. Patricia Tannis. There is an echo log that I can play right now to prove this. Just, just, just take a listen. Patricia Tannis, you're fucking weirdo, man. Yeah, I found an old recording that might help you guys out with the siren. I've been observing this siren, Lilith, since the opening of the vault. She appears to be using iridium to enhance her natural phase-walking abilities. This naturally leads me to assume some unspoken connection between sirens, iridium, and the vault. I have determined two additional things. Firstly, that she finds it irritating when others pluck out strands of her hair under the guise of needing them for scientific experimentation. And secondly, that they taste like olives. Wait, no, fried pickles. So yeah, as Patricia Tanner says that their hair tastes like olives. Oh no, wait, fried pickles. I don't get why she says this. It's a very weird thing. When I first heard it, I was laughing because I was just like, Tannis, you're such a weird person. What? What? Why? What? Like, a lot of people think that Tannis actually knows who the sixth siren is. Now, first of all, why? How the hell would Tannis know? She knows a lot about sirens, but she knows a lot about everything, to be honest. You know, if you ask her a question about most things, aka Terramorphus, she'll probably know a lot about them. Because Terramorphus, how the hell would you know about that? He was in a layer and he had iridium surrounding him, which you had to pay to get into. Fucking cheapskate motherfucker. But how did Lilith... But how did Patricia Tannis know this? I have no idea. But what I do know is that she did actually go around the vault key. And she was around the vault key quite a lot before Jack and Wilhelm ripped it off her. So maybe when she touched it, lots of secrets were revealed to her. Like if you've seen in the pre-sequel... When Jack touched the relic, he saw the future and saw himself dying, and he said, it all makes sense. And maybe that's why Patricia Tannis knows so much about the vault, because she saw the future. Now, it's really hard to actually predict this, since it's all coming off of my own knowledge, and nothing has actually been confirmed by the story, the lore, or anything. But it's a very cool thing to think of. And it's really weird to know that there's an extra siren out there, which the community doesn't know of. And technically, there is two sirens out there, but one of them, Asha, she was in a comic. So hopefully, she does actually come to the Borderlands franchise. And it'll be awesome to see what happens with this, what Gearbox decides to do about it. But other than that, guys, 
it has been this video. I hope you have enjoyed. I enjoyed making it. Be sure to drop a like if you absolutely love playing as Maya the Siren, or you just like this theory. And subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling While I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey drink